Hi, everybody. I am Heather Pivover. Um, I'll be talking about the Unpaywall Project. It is a project from Impact Story. Impact Story is me and Jason Cream, who's right there. We're a small nonprofit, five years old. Um, today, I'm going to be talking about what is Unpaywall, where are we at, and a bit about sustainability. So the problem that Unpaywall is solving is given a DOI, where are the open copies of that article? Without that information, uh, you can't figure out what open access is available over time. You can't do assessments. We don't know how well all of our mandates are working and so on. And we can't build an open version of Google Scholar or anything like that, right? There were other ways to look to find open copies, but if you can't index them easily, if you don't know what you've got, um, we, can't, we can't do this sort of building that we need to do. So on Paywall, this is the homepage, it's an open database of 20 million uh, free to read scholarly articles. It's all open source. Uh, here it is on GitHub and has been from the get-go. Um, it's built leveraging the open data of many people in this room. We couldn't be here if we weren't building on all the great work that everyone else has done. Crossref, DOAJ, PubMed, Europe PMC, um, the OA PMH endpoints of IRs and uh, Open Science Foundation and so on. Yeah, all this data is there. Um, we are an example of what you can do when we all build on top of each other's work, which is fantastic. Um, and what we've got is an API where you just give it the DOI, thanks to Crossref, <laughs> give it the DOI, um, and we give you all the information. Lots of this is directly from Crossref, lots of it is things that we've compiled together. It's in an easy, organized way, such that we're currently getting 2 million API calls a day, which is pretty fantastic, yeah? <laughs> so one thing about this API we learned out of our five years of history is the API has to be fast. So it returns in less than 100 milliseconds usually. It has a very high, um, limit so about i think it's a uh, hundred thousand calls a day so anyone can call it a hundred thousand calls a day uh just by calling it and giving their um, email address no registration required so that's let a lot of people just play yeah um anyway about their stuff like that i'm trying to keep it fast <laughs> so it's available as an api it's also available as a free data dump uh every six months we do a free no um no strings attached data dump that anyone can use for anything. Uh, there's also a query tool. So we've got lots of ways to get, um, give people access to this 20 million um, articles uh, so they can do what they want to do with it. And indeed they are doing things. So just, so the web of science is using it before the unpaywall integration. They had uh, links out to open access articles for two million of their um, articles and now it's 12 million. Scopus integration is coming soon. Um, it, they were at one and a half million articles and would actually have a link to an open copy and now it's seven million. Uh, Europe PMC, which I would have thought everything in Europe PMC links to a free article, right? No, actually. So they, you can see over there, there's a little full text with an on paywall icon. Not everything links there. Once they added that, which they are just doing using our um, API for what it for free, so they're not actually giving us any money. Uh, their number of link outs jumped from uh, 5 million to 7 million. So that's pretty exciting, yeah? They did that essentially without even talking to us, which is really cool, yeah? That's the world I think we all want. So. That said, here's a mixture of people who are using us, some of them paying us, some of us not. Um, you can see there's some pretty, pretty exciting names on there. So we're pretty happy about that. It's also integrated into thousands of libraries uh, through link resolvers. Um, again, just using our free API for the most part. It's used in national assessments and so on. I actually had a Nature article written about it uh, last week, which is exciting and fun. Um, and so we were asked to talk a bit about where we see this uh, fitting into the landscape, yeah? So we think it's very useful in discovery. It's useful in uh, inter uh, uh, repositories, hoping to flesh out their IRs, so in archives, in assessment, and in incentives uh, for researchers to make their work more open. When they can see that when they do make it open, other people can actually find it and read it, which they can increasingly do. Um, gonna highlight a few sustainability details because I think one of the big benefits of this group is we can all talk sustainability. We've got lots in common to talk about sustainability. Transparency is great. So we're going to start being pretty transparent right now and hopefully it will inspire us to all talk in the breaks and in the unconference sessions some more about sustainability. So as many of you probably know, we've been around for five years, grant funded to work on uh, various different projects, most of them on assessment. About, so about a year and a half ago, um, we started work on this project, this unpaywall project, to be part of the assessment project. 
um, knowing that open access is indeed an area that has a lot of attention. It's not a problem we need to convince people they have. People have that problem, yeah? So even though we were starting to run out of money on those grants, um, we decided that, that this was the right thing to work on. We'd invest really hard in it. And so that became on paywall. We sort of spun it out of uh, impact story profiles, yeah? Just to give you a little bit of a sense of where we were at. So hopefully if we, give, if we can talk about how bad it gets and how good it gets and stuff, we can be a little like forthcoming and honest to each other, yeah? So here's how, here's, so it was unfunded. We actually dropped our salaries to $20,000 a year. Um, at one point, about a year and a half ago, we missed payroll a couple of times. So uh, it was, it was, uh, we had a lot of faith in what we were doing. We thought it would work out, um, and we were pretty, pretty low in, uh, in cash at that point. Um, we got a, so we, we believed in it, and it did actually pan out that we got a grant from Clarivate. We could talk more about this um, later, innovative way. So Clarivate, holy moly, gave us a grant to develop open source software which is part of Unpaywall, which creates the data, which now we all use for free. And Clarivate knew they were doing that. And I think that's a really cool like, business decision for them to do that maybe we can encourage others to do as well. Um, we've also got customers for the data feed. So a lot of our, we're a nonprofit, a lot of what we do is free, as much of it as we can is free, uh, but we have a service where we give a weekly, we produce a weekly update dump. So for what, Crossref IDs have recently been minted, and what new uh, open copies we found, what copies have become unopened in the last week, um, and, and what their bug fixes that it's just all better quality now. Um, that weekly dump is available for a fee, and that has um, made us sustainable at this point. So we have boosted our salaries back up, we're actively hiring and so on. But that's some of our sustainability um, details. We'd love to talk with others. Um, at whatever stage we're all at. If you've got, whoops, more questions about tech stack, any of these things, uh, come find us and we'd love to talk.